Yeah, no. Um, uh, fuck. I, I lost my train of thought before we even started. <laughs> well, then let's start with, uh, hey guys. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm uh, Joe. Ah, I'm Luke. And uh, we're here doing things, talking about stuff. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm really, really tired. We've had a rough couple nights at work. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm off now for four days. Yay! <laughs> mini vacation. Yeah. A little, little mini vacation, which I've needed sorely for a really long time. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure a couple of you can relate to that. Yeah, definitely. Um, but what I was saying was, yes. last week, something we didn't talk about. Something we didn't talk about last week that we wanted um, to cover. Let's cover it. Then I wanted to talk a little bit about Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5. So, uh, I have not picked this game up yet. Uh-huh. Totally planned on it. I'm, right. I'm I'm a fan of this series. Big, huge Battlefield fan. Right. But um, if there was any good graces that I had for EA, yeah. it is all, it's all gone. been gone. Oh, yeah. Easy. All gone. Easy, easy gone. Um, and this game, apparently I'm not the only one. And I guess it turns out when you tell your players, uh, you know, just I, don't buy the game if you, you don't know, like what I'm we're putting into it. i here. Getting some deja vu here. We we probably talked about this. Well, we talked about the pre-orders. Yeah, right. So now they've they've announced their physical sales were d- are down by like between I, the numbers I'm hearing are kind of wild. Yeah. Some of them have said like fifty percent. Yeah. Some are saying up to eighty. That's granted, that's pretty big, but that's pretty big difference. Granted, physical sales, um, they, they don't really make much of a difference nowadays. A, right. a lot of a lot of the sales are made from digital. Yeah, I mean, I know, <clears throat> I know that I I try to buy my games digitally because I'm one mm-hmm. of those scum where I want to carry as many games around with me as possible on stuff like my Switch or my 3DS. So I'm sorry, I'm killing physical sales. Yeah, there was something else recently that came out, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. Yeah, that its physical sales were way way down. But the game is doing gangbusters through digital, right? And it's selling well, right. and you know more, you know more power to them. Fuck you and your microtransactions that you have in that game. But um, yeah. I, I, Assassin's Creed, you know, you be you. Um, it does not sound like that's happening with Battlefield, even though they'll never release those numbers unless they are out of the out of this world. Um, yeah, they only seem to release those numbers when it's good I'm hearing news. it's hard to find games within like four or five minutes wait times wow to find servers that are empty for like conquest and the big game modes it's like uh it's like when they released that call of duty game and there was like on the windows uh, marketplace and there oh was, like, yeah two players literally mm-hmm. two players online at it's any given it's time. like the game released dead dead in the water now you know some people absolutely love the game. Oh yeah, that no, I read I mean, online, which is great, and I I hope they enjoy it. And I would love to be one of the people playing and enjoying this game. Right. Um. I'm still probably going to eventually pick it up, wait and see once they release a couple more it, content pro- packs. Probably get the like the game of the year edition on deep discount sometime. Yeah. Well, they're not the DLC is officially free. Of course, there's still the microtransaction stuff. Right. But the um like they've released one pack that it should have been at launch. Um, but we don't get complete video games anymore. Yeah, no, we get, I mean, everybody wants to plan yeah. for the, the DLCs and stuff. Yeah, well, this wasn't a DLC. This was, like, one of the main campaign missions oh, that was not oh, included. So it was, kind of the it, way it, Battlefront it's, 2 was sold. It's Day Zero patching kind of deal. Oh, not even. It wasn't even. They, they actually, they delayed this and said, we want to make sure this is done right. Yeah. Um, which is ironic because why wouldn't you have just re- delayed the game and released a full product? Oh, I mean, because you, know, you had to hit that sales date. What is it like? Uh, I believe the the quotes attributed to Miyamoto. Yeah, he Miyamoto. Said, uh, you know, a delayed game could be good, but a, a bad game is bad forever. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, no, I I I, and I know we've said this before, and I I can never I can never say it enough. I would yeah. rather a game be delayed for another month, two months, three months, whatever, to make sure it comes out playable at yeah. the very least, Bethesda. Or oh you my know, god, like like seriously, delay your game. I, I would... don't call it a fucking beta. That was a server stress test. Yeah, you really. shit can shit heal motherfuckers. Like your 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 beta was released what a month, month and a half late. It was two weeks before launch when you finally released the and beta. And you tried calling it a beta. People still defended it as a beta. Uh, no, yeah, I mean it's, the it's, launch is a beta. Maybe not even beta. This is like alpha. Yeah, I mean it, it's amazing to me. Though, it's like, Bethesda final product. 
It's, it's am- yeah, right. It's amazing to me though how people will defend it though. You have those Bethesda apologists who are yeah. out there like, 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 listen, man, I'm a huge Bethesda fan. Morrowind, The Elder Scrolls, all of that in general has been a huge part of my life. Mm-hmm. But I can sit there and say that objectively speaking, Bethesda is an awful company. Todd Howard's a goddamn moron and needs to be fired, and Skyrim needs to stop being remade so much in fucking times. You know, like, just stop. Yep. Please. Gonna put it on the fucking TI-85 calculators next year. Uh, I heard they're porting it to the TI-83s, too. Yeah. Like, all of them. Well, TI-84 is gonna get it, too. So you're gonna be able to play it in all those three <laughs> pixely goodness. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, and, I mean, it's kind of the stance that I think mo- more people need to take on, uh, especially EA games. Yeah. Don't buy them at launch. When not, and not even waiting for the Game of the Year edition. Because they're they're apparently they don't want to do DLCs anymore. They're just gonna do bunches of microtransactions. Ugh. But you might as well wait three or four months for the price drop, which it's already dropping in price. Right, right. And at that point, hopefully some more of the content's been put in. They've patched some things, server issues have been fixed. Right, yeah. Um it's it's kind it's it's sad. It seems like they make this whole big deal about we're, we want to release this product and uh, you know we're so proud to you know work on it and stuff, and then through the I I can only guess the EA fucking overlords yeah just come up and shit all over it. It's the same. It's like Bioware. If um I, I'm terrified that Anthem will do well. Right, because uh, it'll just it'll just reinforce like their we'll shitty. We'll never get another Bioware game, yeah. other than Anthem. Is I have a feeling Anthem is going to be their destiny, right? Um, but probably even more like long, like they want Anthem to last. Who knows how many years? Microtransactiony and uh, exactly, they like want a, it to more, be more like World a subs- of Warcraft. They want it to be the game as a service. I'm always talking about where yep. they, it's a subscription. In a sense that you keep coming back to it, keep buying content for it and all that good shit. You know, the microtransactions part of it, all, which, I mean, I can see them totally yeah. shoehorning that in. Or even saying, fuck it, and going, like, just making it the, like, make the game around that entire yeah. concept. Which, you know, like, given, like, the like the whole gamer talk thing that they did back at, at what oh, was Jesus. it, E4 or E3 or whatever that was? <laughs> yeah. E4, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Extra entertainment, electronics, yeah, the new. Show, but yeah, it's like uh, you know that back then uh, it was cringy, but the game actually looked kind of cool. It looked it, it looked great, but you know that was all pre. Oh yeah, of it's, course. None of mean, that's actual like gameplay. It probably didn't have anything close to gameplay. Before. Right, probably not. I mean, they probably still don't have anything close to gameplay right now. Let's no, be honest. I know here. the last thing they released, the last gameplay trailer they released, was um, unimaginably underwhelming. Yeah, people watched it. Probably, and went, probably this very is it. bland. Yeah, it yeah. looks like the division. It looks like um, Destiny. It just looks like you're in a shooter, an right. open world shooter. It's just like all the others, all these others um, that are just trying to milk you and make you play the right. game every yeah. day like a mobile game. Yeah, which I mean, mobile games fine bother me. I I actually. Kind of like it when Fire Emblem Heroes reminds me to log in and collect my bonuses, but it's like, I, I shouldn't get that from my PS4 or my Xbox One or whatever. It's just, it's yeah. really frustrating that they think everyone's going to play one game, Yeah. but at the same time they're going to release a new game every year, Yeah. as well as that one game uh, Supporting again, it and, and adding, another one, and yeah. another one. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. Like, I, I play I mean, many different games. Like, I, I will get you know fixated on one yeah. game for a time. But it's not going to be like an ongoing. But it's not because years. it's a live service either. Right? No, it's, it's not. because it's a great like game. Right. Like I've played Let's Go Eevee for mm-hmm. like the last few weeks. Like that's all I've played because it's a good game. Besides yeah. Pokemon Go, if you count that, which I don't know if I do necessarily as a, as a game compared to something like that. But no. yeah, I mean it's a game. I don't I, I don't want to be one of those people that's like, oh, mobile games aren't games. Well, most mobile of games them are terrible. Games. Most mobile games are not games. They're wait to wait to pay. Games yeah, or pay to wait. Whatever the fuck. Wait, wait to pay. Wait to play or yeah, they're, they're games. Or pay to pay to watch something. Most of, like there's a lot. Pay of to them watch that, a timer. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of them that I I, I, I actually barely watching timer. Barely, yeah, hit yeah. the the definition of interactive entertainment. Right. Um. But like, they I'll at least give them. I'll at least let them have the name right now. Right. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I don't even know what, what you said. 
I'm not tired. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but uh, there's just too there's just too many of these games that want all of your time. Yeah. And I I'm sorry, but doing grind quests in Destiny over and over does not sound as fun as the fucking sixty hours I've already put into Red Dead Redemption. Right. And I'm not through the story. Right. It like, doesn't it doesn't sound nearly as much fun as like beating the shit out of Nintendo characters with other Nintendo characters. Yeah, in Smash Brothers. Yeah. Which, I mean, is amazing so far. Or playing, you know, fucking basically reliving your childhood playing Let's Go Eevee. Or, yeah, well, Let's Go Pikachu, if that's your thing, too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they're both the basically the, the same games. games. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, it's just... It, I mean, and that, I I'd mean, rather spend my time doing that. And, or even if you find, you know, you like Destiny, Destiny 2, whichever, then you're going to spend your time doing that. Anthem's going to come out, and it's like, well, do you just drop this and go to that? I mean, It's no, kind not, of the problem not, I had with... Uh, not necessarily, right? Shooters back in the day. There were too many. Right. And, and then they I, stopped selling. They still are. There still are too many, in my honest opinion. They, it's, I mean, it's way cut back. Yeah, they but, definitely scaled it back, but I still think there's way too many. But we've gotten to the point where the, and, and I mean like I the. I tried to include you in that video frame, and it's just not working. <laughs> I'm like, you've got like, I can, I can lean forward a little bit more. I can move forward. It ain't a big deal. You guys can kind of see me. Oh, there you go. I'm turning that way towards you anyway. Right. So seeing like my right ear, they can right. look at my ear canal and see when I pick up coffee every once in a while. Yeah. But um, no, I mean like back in the day when we had Call of Duty, Modern right. Warfare, right. Or we had Call of Duty, we had Medal of Honor, we had um, Battlefield, you had, and then all these other sub games that tried to get into the market. And you know, it didn't really help that every single one of them was straight up military based. Oh, and they all like, like, were ripping off of Call of Duty generally. Right. And like how many, how many... Like, aside from maybe I don't know Doom, which is still somewhat military based, like how many games can you go back and look back and recall were actually a little bit different, except from oh, yeah. Crisis, but it was still just the same basic shooter. I one. mean, yeah, Crisis was very similar. They did there were some that did things a little bit differently, right. like the Far Cry games. Right. Um. They 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 went with this open world that's just it. It's interesting. It's more fun. It's right. Like I would rather play that open world than. Most of these pay, uh, or not pay to win, but um, live service games. I mean, I, I got to be honest with a little with bit you, of a story. The, the idea of it being a live service game is for me, like as a gamer, it, it's honestly kind of a turnoff. Yeah. Like it, it really, really is. I, I just, it, it's, it just feels and sounds exploitative. And it, it that's feels, exactly what it is. Like, it's completely that. It feels like the, what's even more, what's even worse than the FPS boom was, to me, the MMO boom, which is still going on in China. Don't I mean, ke- it's there's, still, it's there's still, 900 MMOs released all the time. And yeah, yeah, they still come here too. Yeah. But they're nowhere near as, not, as, not as, as popular. prevalent as they used to be. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, there was 800 MMOs a week. And, Every one of them wanted that p- a piece of that, uh, yeah. Wa- uh, war- uh, war- Warcraft. Warcraft, Warcraft pie, yeah. yeah. Which I mean, it, it's going to be nearly impossible, I think, at this point to dethrone something like World of Warcraft. I mean, you know, Bethesda came along; they tried to do it with Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, it, it failed. I mean, people still play that game apparently, but. I don't know, man. After after Bethesda doxing their own customers, I think I'm done with Bethesda. Oh my god, that story too. We we gotta bring that up. I mean, but, that uh, was that was hilarious to me. You know, when yeah. I read that, I was like, really? Yep. But um, yeah. I mean, I, I still remember when there was like Lord of the Rings online, and El, um, ESO was still going on. Yeah. Not Elder Scrolls. Um. Uh, the original. Um. I I I don't know. Uh, oh my god somebody who's been around for a long time everquest yeah Yeah. everquest online and then you had the one runescape yeah runescape which is apparently right now having a massive revival well the old school runescape is having a massive that's what i mean yeah because everyone hates everyone hates the new runescape so they've gone to play the old one yeah no everyone like the classic runescape or uh is coming back like massively funny um with this, <laughs> this is off topic, but talking about things coming back, with this whole debacle of Tumblr yes. deciding they're going to eliminate all not safe for work content. Yeah. Um, unless it's artistic. Which except is kind of difficult and subjective to determine. Exactly. Yeah. Which means they're probably just going to kill everything because their, their fucking algorithm is just killing everything. I mean, um, yeah. God, their algorithm. It's very well, bad. Yeah. Um, which I mean, which I I read some expected. more stuff about that, which I wanted to bring up 
I'll bring it up in a minute. But um, Newgrounds is currently trying to pull people to back. And Newgrounds is having a revival for art and all that kind of stuff because they're they all allow not safe for work. They'll allow anything. Yeah. Um, Pornhub has said that they'll let people come in, post whatever you want. You can even have specific donation pages and things like that. Right. Like there's three or four sites, like those two specifically, and then I know there's a few more that are like, hey, we'll switch this up. Um, was it Word? Not WordPress. Somebody, one site I was reading, they were like, hey, we're going to throw in a des- dedicated chat, like a messaging client the way Tumblr had. We're going to do like three or four things that they didn't have before just to attract those people that is to come there. That is really not okay. <laughs> I mean, it's. I, I mean, it, it I is totally sense, no. Like, it's 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 smart. It's, it's they're amazing, trying to get. Yeah, they they see that there's this massive audience that Tumblr is going to just turn their back on. Yeah, and that site, I think it's going to go downhill. I think it's going to crash. Oh well, of course it is. That's why this I think it's an a awful massive idea. amount of there. That's why I think it's an awful idea. Oh, yeah, there's an awful lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, no, no. I mean, this like, is terrible. This is. Because this is like, hilarious. Like, on the one hand, it's like it's going to give these sycophants, to, to use a fake word, I don't even know if that's an actual word because I heard it on Friends. But Sick- um, It's a real word. <laughs> I, I, but it's like to give these people like that outlet, okay, that's that's good on the one hand, but then yeah. on the other hand, it's like what kind of like what kind of content are you now going to be attracting? Oh, know? well, this is, you're talking, like this is pretty much any genre of, like you're talking furries, you're talking oh, I know. I, uh, that's the, anime, you're, all of this stuff Lola is Con and all that shit. Like, oh, well, I doubt. I don't know about that. They might not allow that. Um, but I mean, that's the that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what they're attracting, though. Is, are the are those people? Yeah. Oh, they're totally attracting degenerates. Yeah. But I mean, hey, degenerates got to go somewhere. There's got to be somewhere for it. And a lot of people hate DeviantArt because DeviantArt is like the cringiest website on the face of the fucking planet. Yeah. And yeah, no, I, I have to. It's, it's, so it's edge, terrible to try work. and navigate. It's fucking awful. I mean, it could be fine for certain types of things. Like if you need themes, you can find some pretty good themes on there for like rain meter and windows I just, and stuff. But yeah. I, like that's the only time I ever go there. Like, I, I remember I, going there back a long time ago yeah. for just, like, for fan art, really. Right. It was like, you know, being, uh, fuck, how old was I? Like, 14? Yeah. Like, I want to see Letter to Zelda fan art. Oh, yeah. deviant art. what's this? Hey, there's tons and tons of it here. Oh, that is awful. Yeah, because you, you see something <laughs> like King Zoran, the fucking yeah. Link or something. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, oh, what's God. Going on it's here? like, oh, no, I'm putting that filter back I don't, on. I don't want to see that. But at the same time, you see some pieces that are just absolutely fucking phenomenal. Like, oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, for these sure. These people right? who I've got, I'm sure, like three or four wallpapers on my phone. These people probably had DeviantArt accounts and put their art up there. Yeah, stuff. yeah. I mean, like, like. I know that I've got um, a folder because I'm Legend of Zelda trash. Like I mm-hmm. fucking love everything and all things Zelda. Um, I have like 850 Zelda wallpapers that that yeah. rotate on my computer every like half hour on one and uh, hour on the other monitor because mm-hmm. I have less images from my other monitor because you know that weird ultra wide resolution. Yeah. So uh, it's it's like yeah no like there there are so 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 many. Yeah, images out there that are just like you said, phenomenal. Um, like I know you've seen that one image where it, it's long and it's vertical, and it basically from the top to the bottom goes from the, the light part of Hyrule to the dark parts. Oh yeah, where, I have that as a uh, wall scroll, like yeah, a, yeah. a door poster that I have no idea what to do with because um, I don't have anywhere. Get it on the back of your door. This one, I, I don't have a door. That's the problem. <laughs> We'll get a door I and put a, it on I the live back. in an open basement. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, it's eventually I'm going to find a place for it. Just I need. It to, I've got wall. tons of posters. But like you know, I'm, uh, like I, I have that image where somebody <laughs> yeah. uh, modified it so that it's horizontal. Yeah. So it's like like you, you start with the light up here and then it goes and then it, you know just it's like. It's like I think I had that when I had my triple monitor set up. Yeah. I had that as a triple monitor wallpaper. Right. Because it is. Uh, yeah. Like, you can it's find perfect. It massive. I right? had like three or four Legend of Zelda's and. Yeah, um, but I mean, all of those people are going to go somewhere. Oh, and yeah, yeah sure. sure. Most yeah. of it's deviant people that are drawing who knows what kind of porn. But it's hilarious <laughs> to me that, so, the reason behind all this, yeah, when it goes back, like we've said before, iTunes removed the Tumblr app from... <laughs> Yeah, well, citing, citing concerns of, of child pornography, yeah. which is so, obviously a very huge no-no, both oh, legally yeah. and morally. So this uh, this wasn't something that was like uh, 
new for Tumblr. Right, yeah. Because how how just awful they are at managing their website. So they apparently had this massive ring of child people sharing child pornography on their website. Yeah. So their algorithm that would try and solve this, um, it would only target the top post. Yeah. And if you don't use Tumblr completely, more power to you. You're better off than me. But I the do way, not use Tumblr, so I am better yeah, off than you. The way it, uh, the way people share posts and yeah. reblog things, yeah. you just get this giant chain. Yeah. So the algorithm was only deleting the one image. Yeah. Meanwhile, you have an entire chain of all of these sick, twisted motherfuckers. None of them are getting banned. None of them are getting. Nothing's happening to them. I right. think right. maybe the only top, only the top person was being banned. On top of that, if the algorithm wasn't picking it up, to if you happened upon that, if you were one of those, like you, someone you had followed, shared that, or somehow you saw these images yeah. and wanted to report it. The only way to report it, from what I read, was to share it. No. Which, obviously, no. You're not going to fucking share this. No. No, I'm not. So there's no real method to report it on top of they're not actually eliminating these fucking, like I said, these sick motherfuckers who yeah. this was not, apparently a lot of this was not the, there's a database and it's apparent, it's the way they target CP on most websites. Yeah. Is um, they have not the actual images, but like a grayscale or some. They have like an out. They have something that compares that image to the images that are posted to the website. Yeah. And if it is like some percentage, it's immediately flagged, and these websites will ban or do whatever or check it out. Right. Whatever. Right. Right. So, tum- this this was bad enough on Tumblr that these were new images that weren't a part of this massive thing. This database is like from the FBI. Right. So they weren't getting these. So Apple's like, we can't fucking have this on our store. Right. They eliminate it. So to try and fix the problem, Tumblr's first thing was they eliminated all search terms for anything not safe for work. So there's a lot of like, Tumblr's a big thing for cam girls and things like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, massive for like cosplay chicks and things, everything, guys, everybody. Yeah. Uh, on top of but- the. Must be ours here, especially jerks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on top of all of the art and everything else, um, so no one could search anything anymore. The only way to find your like someone, if you knew an artist you wanted to look up, uh, if you, I think you had to have their exact profile name. Oh wow! Or a link to it. Right. So they screwed that up. People still were dealing with it, and then they started changing their algorithm to flag things. Which massively flagged a ton of stuff that is not safe for work, but wasn't against policy, anything like that. Right, it was so, porn, but it wasn't child porn. Yeah. yeah, so that's first. that was like the first inkling that people had that this shit was going to come out. And then a month later, they released this big notice that it, we're just killing it all. Because they can't be fucked to actually run their website properly. I mean, yeah, you know. And the funny thing is, it's not going to stop it. I'm sure they're still going to have those problems. And it's not oh, going to yeah, be the, sure. it's not going to be your average girl who's, you know, posting cosplay pics that are racy that is uh, is going to get by. It's going to be the awful fuckheads. Yeah. They're going to be the ones that still have that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the same problem that you two are. It's sort of from that same thing where it's just too big for its own so, good. Yeah. So it's like, like, except it's legitimately too big for its own good. Yeah, they're yeah. not fucking lazy on their algorithm. Right, but like that's kind of the same thing that they suffer from. Is that there's just yeah. too much to go through and too much yeah. to, to do. Like, could you imagine if YouTube said fuck it and purged everything from the site that was mildly not I mean, safe for work? I mean, could you imagine if they had a like uh, advertiser friendly purge of anybody who wasn't advertiser friendly from their? Uh, um, algorithm that I would mean, make it incredible. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's why I'm going that step further. Yeah, I know. Just anything like if we said fuck, because we say fuck a lot. Yeah. If they decided to tweak the thing and say, oh, you said fuck, you can't have a video on yeah, our platform. Yeah, it, it just immediately got uh, fucking like well, like when they mute um, copyrighted music. Yeah. Like all audio is gone, even if it, if it thinks you have some copyright. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I I'm still waiting for that day. When it copyrights one of our yeah. videos, like for the music that for we us. paid for from from your friend Tyler, from yeah. our our vest and Tyler buddy, like the moment they do, that's like 
no Every let place. me show you where we i got love that that happens to their music videos that yeah. are uploaded right yeah oh it's so funny it's amazing like like yeah there's been vivo videos that have been flagged yep. for copyright infringement it's like but it's, this is copyright infringement from vivo <laughs> it's like yeah i i i know there was a music video um for like an obscure metal band i i want to say uh i want to say well okay they're not obscure but they're not well mm-hmm. known it was nightwish and i yeah. believe they had a video a music video um, that was flagged by their own record company that mm-hmm. was released on the record company's channel. And I couldn't watch it because it was copyright claimed by the record company. And I was on the record company's channel. Yeah. I'm like, how the fuck does that work? This this video cannot be shown in your country due to a copyright claim by this. this uh, I'm like, but that's the channel. What? You copyright. It's. Oh man, that's a whole fucking can of worms. Like God, See, digital copyright's a mess. You know, on um, top of them trying to, like right. you said, it's it's too much. Where if they and and sorry if you guys heard me cracking my knuckles <laughs> so loudly right there, but uh, I had to do it. I don't blame you. And it's it's impossible for them. They can't not side with the people yeah, who no, are putting I mean, the copyrights. At least at the at least at the beginning, yeah, at the they very just least, yeah, they unfortunately they're not diligence. very good at. Yeah, doing their due diligence after the fact, where a lot of smaller creators get hit for shit. You know, um, that's that's why what I did because um, I'm not terribly strict on mm-hmm. on things that that I create, and I'm not terribly like uh, I, I I'm not an asshole when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. So one thing I did is I've licensed our videos that you can reuse them if you want. Mm-hmm. You know, if for some reason you, our video isn't available in a country, but you're like someone that can can rehost it, fucking go for it. Like our our shit is licensed as for reuse as long as you attribute it to us. Yeah, which is all I I mean, give credit where credit is due. You do whatever fuck you want. I mm-hmm. don't care. We don't care because we want that out there. You know, and we're not making money off this anyway. No, it's not. Uh, we're not monetizing the. Uh, the no, because we curse too much. <laughs> yeah, I you know. Maybe they're not monetized. I wonder if like Joe Rogan's podcast is monetized. I know. I, I just know it doesn't matter if yeah. we're monetized or not because we don't. We're not eligible. No, no, no. We we don't have anywhere near the. Uh, we what the four thousand hours and of video and a thousand subscribers. Yeah, we have fifteen, <laughs> and people watch around. Uh, and we're happy to have eight hundred forty-one <laughs> minutes when, on a good month. You know, we absolutely. Oh, yeah, are. that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not all. <laughs> that's better than we thought. I thought we had like ten minutes watched. No, no, no. People <laughs> do sit here and, and watch. Watch the videos, especially when we post these videos. Like they totally sat mm-hmm. there and watch us sit here and, and talk into microphones. Awesome. Which I mean, that's interesting. One thing I want to look into do is setting up a second camera. Mm-hmm. I have one point at you, one point at me, and I'm thinking about like just grabbing like a tripod for my fucking cell phone or something, mm-hmm. just setting it in front of me. There you go. We could do that. Shit, both of our cell phones have amazing cameras. Right. Yeah. yeah I mean, should... I'm, I'm sitting there thinking about that, but you know, they like the only problem the is when you introduce that second camera, syncing it all up. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's it that. See, that's why we need a Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> For anybody who listens to Joe Rogan's podcast, Jamie. Yeah. Hey Jamie, Jamie, look that up. Oh man, <laughs> fucking apes, <laughs> fucking destroy you. <laughs> fucking, fucking animals, man. <laughs> you know that reminds me of someone. Uh, someone took an, uh, a clip of the office, and uh, it was all of the uh, all of the employees in there, mm-hmm. and uh, they had, of course, Michael Scott and. Uh, Oh, uh, Dwight Schrute. Yeah. And Dwight Schrute was, was photoshopped to be, uh, well, not photoshopped, but that's, that's, that's the word I'm going to use. Uh, it was Mike Pence's face over his. <laughs> and then Steve Carell, like, uh, uh, his character, Michael Scott, was, it was Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like they're just going on about the things that Donald Trump has said. And they're flipping through, like, a TV channel because they're all having a meeting. And it gets <laughs> to a gorilla channel. And it's like, oh, no, wait, right there. Stop. Gorilla channel. Look at the majestic beast. I remember that, yeah. yeah. And like one of the gorillas charges the other gorilla and tackles him or whatever. It's like, you know, I think the gorillas have a lesson to teach us. There's a lesson to be learned here. It's like, <laughs> no, there's not. There really isn't. They're just fucking gorillas. They're just they're just this beating. Is what they do. Like the, yeah, they're they're competing for territory, <laughs> mating rights, and food, and, like, and fucking each other up because they're goddamn gorillas. Because right, that's what they do for fun. <laughs> they don't know, but yeah, I it, for some reason that just made me think of of that. <laughs> that that makes me think of apparently there's and I, I guess he was either visiting the zoo yeah. or something uh, uh, I don't know if it was a news what whatever it was Mike Tyson was at a zoo yeah and there was a silverback gorilla like 
picking on a smaller gorilla. Yeah. And he looks at like a zookeeper or something goes, I want you to let me in there so I can teach that gorilla a lesson. <laughs> something like that. Like, I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> Dude, no. My... Mike Tyson versus gorilla. Do it. Pay-per-view. I, I, will pay for, I will pay for it. Mike Tyson will get the shit kicked oh out of him. Oh, my God. But will. I will watch I love it. Mike Tyson, so I wouldn't want that to happen because, you know. Oh, did you know barring... HBO got out of boxing? Really? Yeah. Like I mean, they're, they're no I, longer. I, I they're no longer. didn't really pay any attention to it in a Yeah, long time. I mean, I understand that, but yeah. uh, you just reminded me of that. Yeah. Like, yeah, HBO no longer does boxing. They yeah. no longer do the coverage. They no longer have matches on their end. And they, they decided to step back from boxing and just let it let it go. I'm not really surprised because boxing's turned into, and I, I'm this is off my ass. I'm not an expert. I don't know anything about it. I don't fucking do sports. I only know but this because it they seems sent me to me it, the only thing I hear about boxing is when there's a pay per view match. Yeah. Other than that, unless I'm watching the or listening to the Joe Rogan podcast and they start specifically talking about a boxer. Yeah. And Joe Rogan talks about how fucking mighty this guy is and the punches and stuff. That's the only reason I watched a boxing match like last week. Right. Is because Joe Rogan talked about this guy and how awesome he is. And other than that, like the only time you hear boxing anymore is um pay per view events. Right. I didn't even like I remember watching it every once in a while on HBO. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I I thought it was I thought they were done with it a long time ago. Nope. They they have officially after I don't know, twelve or twenty two I don't remember what the email said, but I know there was a two in it. Um they say, Yeah, after so many years we're done with boxing now. Like, boxing. Not, it wasn't like a, a decision that was made because fuck boxing. You know, it was just yeah. like, no, you know what? It's 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 evolved something, and I don't think we can adequately you know cover it anymore. I don't think we can we can give it do it the justice that deserves. Probably not making them the money. Probably not. I'm guessing boxing's massive in money, at least when it comes to pay per view. Yeah. Um, and I mean, even when I was younger, like he, we would hear about Mike Tyson, right? Like these big boxers. Oh yeah, no, Mike Tyson, um, George Foreman, yeah, uh, Muhammad Ali, like these. Were oh big, yeah, yeah, huge names. This, right? That's back when boxing was like a normal thing, like yeah. people would watch. But growing up, other than hearing about this giant monster, Mike Tyson, <laughs> yeah, never is never on TV. I yeah. never saw it. I'm partially Punch wondering. Out. Yeah, other than in video games and stuff like that, every once in a while, I'm wondering if because ESPN wasn't able to own it. Right, because you'd never, I, you never, if you watch ESPN, very rarely will you see anything about boxing, right, or the UFC. Well, I think, yeah, but I think with boxing, at least until recently, it was probably mm-hmm. because HBO owned exactly. It. Yeah. So I'm guessing, like, it, it was never a household thing for me. Like we, right. my, you know, we would watch some football. My dad was interested; he'd watch some of that stuff every once in a while, and yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd watch yeah. college football. But I mean, you know, I know all the the NFL teams. I don't know players or anything, but. I know that. Boxers, it's like, uh, oh, super heavyweight. Oh, Mike Tyson. Yeah. I heard of him. Oh, he retired 10 years ago? Oh, well. I, don't I have no idea fuck. who is it. Yeah. And then, like, when the, uh, was that last year, they had that big fight between Pacquiao and, I don't even remember the other guy. Um, that was know. such a big, huge deal. Everyone, like, I had, I had customers all night long that would come in and, like, ask me about that fight. Like, yeah, what do you think about it? And it's like, yeah, I just started quoting things that other customers had said. Like, it was my thoughts. When people would come in and, and ask me about it, yeah. I straight up looked at them and said, where do you think I've been? Yeah. Well, that yeah, that night, that night, I was obviously, I, like, I was told one guy, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be watching my phone. Like, okay. I, didn't, I didn't care. I wasn't going to fucking pay, spend money on it or anything. No, no, of course um, not, no. But, yeah, I mean, like, leading up to it, the nights before. I would have people that, you know, bring it up, mention it. And it's funny that that was even more brought up than, like, a, the next Bengals game or right. even during the World Series right, right, or yeah. dear, during, like, the... You know, I think I heard more about that fight than I did about the Super Bowl. Exactly. The Super Bowl, anything. Uh, the only thing that came close was, like, college basketball. Or uh, College basketball is always big around I, here. I think the only other thing that I heard anywhere near as much about was uh, the Mayweather versus that MA... Or, who was it? Oh, it um, was um not Mayweather. Um No, it uh, um but it was the MMA fighter who I don't fucking know either because I don't care about MMA, but I I can't remember his name, but it was him versus that uh, one dude who can't read fight. Um 
Because, you know, the guy who's 50 Cent said, I will pay you $800,000. Yeah, uh, the one you, you read... just said, Mayweather versus... Um, uh, was it Mayweather? It was, uh, they had a fight against uh, it was an the M- Irish guy. The Irish MMA fighter, yeah. Um, who had, uh, like, fuck you written on his suit or whatever, yeah. or, like... Whatever. I can't, why can I not... Th- I actually like him because as he's a important. fighter. He's he's interesting. He's he's cool. Um, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like... Well, when he's not... I'm not I'm not downplaying the importance of MMA or anything. It's just to me personally, it doesn't matter like at all because I don't watch any of it. So I'm not yeah. sitting there saying it, it's pointless or it doesn't matter. But to me, in my world, my little bubble here, it doesn't. You just yeah, it's not it's not interest. It's the whole sports thing, like, right? Yeah, sports. I, I'm the I, same way. I can't say I'm not interested in sports. Like I I totally I'm totally down to play like some football or something with, with some friends. Um, but it's like like I don't I don't watch it. Yeah, you, you don't know, know who's like. I don't. I, I know some players. I watch. I, I yeah. pay attention to my home teams or the teams that I support. Which I, I don't know how much longer I can support the Bengals. To be honest with you, I check scores. That's all. Yeah, I check, <laughs> I, I check scores. I'll keep track of games. But I was yeah. downtown this past Sunday when they lost against the Broncos, and the the mood was so somber. You mm-hmm. know, like, and I was I was on the was that was, the week after they lost to the Browns maybe Dude, <laughs> no wonder I, it was fucking well, down for me it was one of those things where once we lost to the browns the season was over for me and i stopped oh, yeah. paying attention and the other reason why i know the the broncos and Bengals game was going on because i was down there right and i'm crossing the roebling bridge from uh, covington into the cincinnati mm-hmm. and from the roebling bridge you can look up into the stadium and you can see you can see like the jumbo trial like very clearly i could have seriously stood there and watched the game yeah and I, I looked up and the score was like twenty four seven or twenty four three or or something where the Broncos were soundly in the lead. Uh, and it was like the third quarter, and yeah. I'm like, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done this season. I don't fucking care if they win or not anymore. Yeah, because there's nothing, nothing they can do at this point. No, I mean, and and so you know, yeah, I that that's as far as I go. I keep track of my <laughs> scores. I, I sometimes will keep track of players being hurt. I'll talk with you know. Our, one of our cashiers who, who is big in the sports will have conversations because he'll tell me things and he'll explain things to me and then you know i can give some input once he's once it's he's so funny me. when he's telling me things like 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 i know yeah it's and i'm just like yeah uh-huh oh man <laughs> <laughs> just feeding him yeah which i mean i've done that with my family for years every yeah, time yeah. i Every every like Thanksgiving when I would go to meet my cousins and stuff, I would start watching ESPN like a few days before that, right? Just to try and like gleam a little bit of what's going on and and like because like like I said, the only thing I ever watch once a, and not even every week it's on when I have free time. Had yeah, free time yeah, was yeah, yeah. College football. Yeah, and I would just watch U of M, and that's yeah. the only thing I might give a shit about playing. Right, but they are like my whole family. They they watch baseball, they watch NFL. And they watch college football, right? So all that stuff will yeah. be brought up, and it's like if I want to hold a conversation with anybody, I just I'd watch ESPN and gleam things, and then the same thing where I'd like pull quotes and like have that one topic where I had a little bit of knowledge. That I'd right. be like, yeah, yeah. So Sammy Sosa, he uh, he wondered if he's gonna go for three hundred, like that kind of shit. Sammy Sosa lost his goddamn <laughs> mind. That's uh, what well, he did. Yeah, but um. I don't know. It was for- Conor McGregor. Fuck yes. Yes. I got the name. God damn it. This whole time, just to let you know, on the inside of my head, I've literally been going through I- every Irish fucking name I could think of. Like Shane, Seamus, Shaughnessy, Sha- Conor fucking McGregor. That's who fought Mayweather. Yeah, yeah. That and was he it. lost. Yeah, he did. And it wasn't even a great fight. No. Which, of course not. It's a pay-per-view yeah, I mean, moneymaker. I mean, you're going... For one, I, I bet it was probably rigged, but for two, it's like you're you're taking like one dude who tries to be a generalist and putting him up against a specialist and eliminating yeah. his ability to use his general. You skills. can't take him to the ground. He can't yeah, kick like, him or anything like that. No, he's he's not a grappler, so um, he has he's to, not, he has he's to meet not him on so much of a striker. Yeah, yeah, he he, he was meeting him so, on I mean, Mayweather's course, bread and butter, and Mayweather is a. Season box. He knows yeah. how he, he, he knows how Mayweather how, he is going to box. He knows how to take a hit. He knows how to. Oh, well, on hits. top. Yeah. He I knows. Mean, and this, by the way, all of this is coming because of Joe Rogan's podcast. He knows that he's the kind of boxer that, yeah, there's going to be four or five boring ass rounds. And then Mayweather's going to come out the gate swinging hard because he knows whoever he's fighting. Uh, and he did the same thing with the older um, Mexican boxer. Yeah. Uh, uh, or Manny South American, I should Manny Pacquiao, yeah. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao. Um, however you pronounce yeah, his name. Yeah, he I, just tired I'm him out. And then 
yeah, he tires him out and then comes out and swings and wins, you know, a bunch of rounds and that's it. He wins. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's a fully legitimate strategy. If he catches you, he knows how to fucking throw a punch and he will goddamn devastate you. But yeah, so he just dragged Conor McGregor out and he knows uh, while UFC is full contact, they're doing a lot of shit, like grappling and everything. Grappling, you're not doing much moving. No. As far as cardio and like like stamina goes, boxers have a lot more because they're fucking tippy toes going back and forth the entire time. Yeah, yeah. No, they have to stay moving. You yeah, stay even, it, even fucking when you watch super heavyweights like Mike Tyson and those old fights, they're fucking moving foot to foot. Oh, yeah. Some of those guys, you can't believe a guy that fucking big can move that quick. Yeah, you can't. You, you wouldn't believe he would be that nimble. Yeah. yeah. And and I, I remember watching a fight like like uh, one of the few times you'd see re, like cl- um, the biggest hits or something on, you, uh, on right. ESPN or some right. channel. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they're showing these pipe punches and stuff. And I'm like, Daddy doesn't even look like he hit him that hard. But, and my dad's like, that's because that's a boxer. He doesn't look like he's throwing. He doesn't look like he's throwing everything into it. But all of that body weight is going into that, oh, you know, yeah. just 12 inches or 6 inches of punch that he's hitting somebody with, like, fucking 500 pounds of force or some ridiculous amount. Yeah. And just destroying people. Yeah. That was the, the one of the fights, the fight that Joe Rogan, I don't remember the guys that he talked about. This one boxer is like, he gets hit on the chin and goes down and he looks like he's out. He hits and is just fucking like not there and all of a sudden jumps back up. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. gets back into the fight with the guy he's fighting and throws just like a two hit combo that is like this dude's just known for powerful punches and just fucking devastates right, the, yeah. whoever in the fuck he was boxing. Yeah. It was it was awesome. I like I love watching boxing. Yeah, no. Except I'm lo- probably never ever gonna pay and watch like a fight. No, probably not. Like yeah. On top of um the cost of pay per view just fucking ridiculous you know for some reason to all this talk about like it reminds me of a, of a george carlin bit where he talked mm-hmm. about what are actual sports and uh, he said <laughs> like, he goes he goes deep into an yeah. analysis man and it's like it's an amazing fucking bit um but he sits there and talks about is boxing a sport no yeah. <laughs> because and he goes into like he has a bunch of reasons um then you get like like or he, he says boxing is a sport but i don't remember now but yeah. like he goes into reasons as to he, he, he presents a very well docu- like well researched argument. Yeah. And then, you know, he gets to hockey. Is hockey a sport? No. Hockey is another way to beat the shit out of somebody. Yes. In that way, in that regard, hockey is a more sophisticated form of boxing. <laughs> <laughs> I like, love that. Hockey is just boxing on ice. <laughs> hockey is boxing on ice with pads. Yeah. And and sticks. And a, a puck, which like and he talks about, like, what have you ever heard of a puck outside of hockey? You know where a puck is? In the men's restroom urinal. <laughs> I, I'm not paraphrasing oh, him because that's not the exact word he yeah. said. And it's been a few years since I've As he pisses that. off all of Canada. Oh, it's so amazing, though. Like, like George Carlin was a fucking genius, man. He's so great. His monologues. His monologues. Oh, absolutely and, amazing. Anything he did. Yeah. Like, like, he, like, even his comedy in the 70s, I mean, as a fucking dirty hippie, he mm-hmm. did a... He did a he has a bit. It's like nine minutes long, where it's just a poem about his beard. <laughs> like I don't know how he did it, but he did it, and it's amazing, and it's incredible. And great. now I'm probably gonna go listen to it when we're done here. Yeah, I keep getting one of the things I keep getting on YouTube um, is like, like just uh, clips and things, montages of like brutal comedy or dark comedy right, or yeah, like yeah. edgy comedy whatever you want to call it things well bill burr and all these other comedians I mean, who I, are very I, I don't know if i would call him like dark so much as no not i'm sorry not dark but um not pc right comedy definitely not like PC, yeah like brutal i guess like I mean, he when he mocks somebody it's fucking talk relentless about, about bill burr is like the bit where he talks about when it's right to hit a woman exactly and, and that the woman kind of interrupts him and he's like we're talking about <laughs> hitting women sweetheart <laughs> about beating women sweetheart every fucking special every fucking time <laughs> i fucking love bill burr but it's just montages of like him and patrice o'neill and all these other comedians oh man patrice o'neill was a great guy man. yeah oh he was funny fucking dude man like, I love his bit about donuts. Like, you better give me a receipt for my donut. What if I need an alibi? 
Yeah, you give me that black and white. That way I know, like, yo, no, I didn't kill a donut. I, had, I was buying a donut. Here's my yeah. receipt. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, it's just, yeah, it's great. Like, he talks about, uh, what did he say? Like, he finds a, he stumbles upon a Oh, a white why he woman. doesn't litter. Yeah. Uh, he, he, uh, he, the, uh, he, he'd be walking through the park or something and throw his Coke can yeah. out into the woods and land on some dead white, white girl. Yeah, now he's a dead white DNA. woman. Now he's, he's the cocaine killer. <laughs> yeah, the cocaine killer, yeah. <laughs> I know, and you know, I some shit like that. No, I'm pretty sure he did say the coke can killer. It was some. Oh man, he's man, fucking Patrice O'Neill is was one of those comedians that was just great, and he was good across. Didn't the board fucking too. let anything stop yeah, him. No, absolutely. and he got in trouble oh, multiple sure. times. Yeah, I still yeah. remember it that being a big, uh, like, just fucking, he, one of those like even pre Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Twitter is out there, and it immortalizes you, and I know I've yeah. said some awful things. So There's this show, and it's Canadian. I finally found out. It's called about Letterkenny? No, 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 no. Okay. Letterkenny's that's, great, too, but yeah. that's that's I completely that was, different. Sketch for some comedy. reason, that was what made me, like, that, that's what came to mind when we're talking about comedy and not PC shit. Like, that is totally There's, not PC. No, they, it's that's a great show, too, though. Is but, it Canadian, uh, though? Yeah. Okay, I was right. I, um, I'm not retarded. Like, like up oh, there, that Canada. That wasn't PC? No. Uh, it's like up there in the sticks, Canadians, the, 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 the whatever the fuck, uh, I think, uh, our buddy Danny's from. I'm talking about Manitoba. The Manitoba kind of like fucking. Nor- Northern Manitoba. Their version of like deep rednecks. Oh God. Yeah. Um, uh, but no, there's the show that is Wait, like Wait, when we say a, deep rednecks, do we mean like hillbillies or do we mean like. Like hillbilly Like hicks. Jeff Fox already. No, no, no. Okay. Like hillbillies. So we're talking about hillbillies. We're yeah. talking about the They ones got their own kick, accent. They have right, their own, yeah. the way they their do things. Their own lexicon that nobody yeah. else understands. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, but uh, that's why I love Letterkenny. It's a fucking great show. But this, no, this other show. Some of the, uh, some of the like the idioms they come up with are just amazing. Fucking, ah, it's beautiful. I don't even have an example because they're so off the wall. Yeah, it's like what? I, I'm so anyway. glad just seeing clips of that show. I yeah. found that show to watch. But yeah, no, no, this other show that I'm trying to get to, this Canadian show where it's kind of like a inside the actor studio, except it's all comedians, right? And I don't. I, I'm it, guessing it's not it, on the is air Is it like anymore. between two ferns with uh, Zach Galifianakis? No, 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 no. It's just, not like a. It's not like an interview. Because I mean, I mean that's what Inside the Actor Studio was, though. You, yeah, you but that it's, guy. that's serious. This is a bunch of comedians sitting around telling stories and doing fucking jokes. Oh, um, and tearing each other apart. Uh, it's like when Ricky Gervais, Somewhat. Chris Rock, and uh, exactly. a couple other guys just sat down and started bullshitting with each other. It's yeah, it's exactly yeah. like that. But they have some like you know not huge comedians. Uh, like, I remember one was Bill Burr and, um, fuck, what's one of those comedians that had a T, Ray, a Ray Romano, uh-huh. and a bunch of other fucking people, and I just remember one of the fucking things, Ray, Ray Romano, or somebody says something essentially of, like, who, uh, I've never heard of this kid, something, like, dig at him, yeah. and then Bill Burr, uh, uh, Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham immediately goes, I was thinking the same thing about all of you. <laughs> Who the hell are these old people? Yeah. But it's it's great. I just there's there's an episode that had Patrice O'Neill and Bob Saget oh my and god. Roseanne Barr. Oh my god. And a few other comedians on the same thing. But it seemed like every time they were throwing a joke and, me and Patrice O'Neill kept like it, Bob Saget would start the obvious black joke and Patrice would be like, No, Bob Saget, you go ahead and finish that, Bob. What you gonna say? <laughs> it was fucking great. This at any time I look up or I see something that's like a brutal com- comedy or or anything like that or on PC, yeah. this show clips from the show always come up, right? Yeah, because you've got like just every comedian and most of these comedians are ones who don't won't fucking hold back. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know that that's actually one thing that surprised me about Bob Saget. Because yeah. you see, like, what I know him from is Full House, Oh, yeah, right? Full Everybody House and America's Funniest House. Home Videos. Yeah, like, he was a clean, mm-hmm. fun, like, dude. But then you see his stand-up, and it's like, what's Fucking going on here? crazy. It was like when you would see Robin Williams do stand-up versus Robin Williams in movies. It's like, you you are seeing two completely different people. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried, another good example. His stand-up is, at, like, on the level of Bob Saget. Yeah. He just, he fucking the raunchiest, craziest shit. Yeah, but honestly, Except in his voice. Honestly, I expect that from Gilbert Gottfried, and that's the point. Uh, well, my, my introduction to him was in 
like Robin Williams. Oh well, yeah, Iago. I and get that. fucking Aladdin. So but, but, I didn't expect that from but, him. Like. Later on, when I found out who he was and what he did, oh yeah, no, I no, was, no, totally like, got like it. that was completely disassociated. Yeah. It's like there's Iago, and then there's Gilbert Gottfried. And I while, mean, he was on like all that or like some kids show or something like that's. I knew Gilbert Gottfried from that kind of stuff. See, I I, only, I literally only knew him as the voice of Iago, and I yeah. didn't even know him as the voice of Iago until I was an adult and found out who he was. Right? Yeah. So like when I look at his face, I expect that out of him. I, but it's like with Bob Saget. Bob Saget, you saw his face. You had that. Oh, he was there. Yeah. yeah. It, you, and he was. This a, is who he, he is. Was, he this is the, Danny Tanner. He was. Yeah. He was the really <laughs> goody two shoes guy who was a leader obsessed of the household. Obsessed with cleaning. Yeah, and he was. Yeah, exactly. He was obsessed with cleaning, and he was a he was a super like like pure clean yeah. guy. And then you see him. You see Bob Saget doing a stand up, and it's like, what the fuck. Why did he, did he just say fuck? Did he oh just say God. shit? Did he say just did he just say cunt face fuck packet? Did he, <laughs> yeah, like crazy like shit. What? Did he just did he? Did he We're just the make, aristocrats. Did he, <laughs> did he just make a really racist joke about Asians? Oh like, my what's God. going on here? Like they, so yeah, I, they there's some story behind when they because he was supposed to be the comedian right on Full House right and him and um the guy playing joey dave, dave clear yeah dave yeah. clear it's something well, where i think that's how you pronounce his name they decided at the last minute that they were like no you have to be they, they they switched essentially they switched the roles yeah and i don't remember exactly why but it was something like he fit the role of the he just had the look better right and dave I mean, clear or somebody said dave clear had too much of a goofy face i mean to be the serious yeah, if father we're, if we're gonna sit there and look at it like like Dave Collier is goofy motherfucker. And, yeah, and you know, I'm not taking anything away from him because I like him. He's a great, a great actor. But it's like, yeah, yeah Dave Collier is a goofy, goofy looking guy. And you look at like you look at Bob, Bob Saget looks like the fucking. He looks like he looks like a dad. He lo- he does. He has the dad face. He has a mm-hmm. dad face. He has a dad demeanor. He gets off that dad aura. He should. He's until he opens his mouth and he just the most horrible shit in the world comes out. It's yeah, great. like he sits there and, and makes sailors blush. You yeah, know? like wow, holy, which I can I can relate to. Like mm-hmm. in a way, because like you, you sit there and you got to keep like this wholesome demeanor on the outside. You have that just that bubbling darkness and hatred on the inside. Like yeah. you guys say, "Fuck it, release it." Right? So I kind of relate to it, but it was still one of those things where it was like, "Holy shit!" He said that it's like yeah. with Robin Williams when he did it. Oh my god, I still remember shock, you know? the first time I saw Robin Williams uh, when his HBO special. Yeah, and yeah. I still remember the uh, the golf. When he like how golf was created by that, and, and I mean Robin Williams stand up is amazing because he's eight hundred different topics a mile a fucking minute. Yeah, and when he's talking about fucking, it's like he's on meth. The Scots making Pretty sure golf. He's on meth. It, um, at the time he was on um, fucking yeah, who knows. Probably. I mean he was on everything. The only things that calmed him down were he had to take downers to just fucking get through his day and. You know what happened to him? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate, but he, he just the way he did comedy was amazing. Some yeah, people yeah. hated it, but fuck them. That's I mean, I, I gotta say, it was one of those things that, like, to me, was very shocking at first. Because once I said, cause, you know, like I said, he was he was the family, he was genie, you know, oh, yeah. he was he was he was Mrs. Doubtfire. He was the the scientist in that movie with the goop that came out of his whatever. I don't remember any what the name. I'd seen him on SNL, so right. I knew he was a comedian, right? And I knew he wasn't the the portrayal of those wasn't as much yeah but not to the extent I mean, he was mork in, yeah in, mork in, and mork and mindy mork and mindy like he was such a wholesome character and then you see him in stand-up playing fuck shit ass cunt like whoa yeah. okay all right this is how we're gonna do and he's like every every fucking couple words is fuck yeah just like us hey ah, fuck <laughs> like he's trying to fucking get his mind together every when he's doing I stand-up mean, uh, but yeah, it was definitely one of those like shocking moments. Like, oh my god, he really did say that. What's yeah. going on here? You know, it's too bad we can't have curse words in our titles anymore. Yeah, I mean, Google lets it go, but iTunes censors it, and it's not fun. Oh, yeah, that's okay. We can be more clever. Oh no, absolutely. I will. I, I like cursing is amazing, and I love curse words. They're sentence enhancers. Um, but I still, I do also love creative. You know how like and, like innuendos. You know who's really really good at cursing? Australians. Oh fuck yeah! I mean, they're, like they have their curses. Cunt is both like a term of endearment and like, 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 like a, a put down and. Well, but, like discounting just that one word though, like like the way that they can curse and just like <laughs> and you don't even know they're cursing. Like yeah, like, that what? <sighs> it's like you listen to something they them say something. And it's like yeah, You're like wait a minute. 
that, I, whatever he said, that sounded fucking. That, that sounded he, dirty. He cursed in there, right? Like, like I got, like, yeah, because you can get, like, we can recognize <laughs> other curses in the sense yeah. that we know you just said something wrong that would be considered wrong in some part of the world, but we don't know what level. Like, we we know it's like she just said a variation of fuck <laughs> there, but I don't know what variation of fuck he just said. So I'm not really sure how to feel about this. Jim, but I think I like it. Jim, Jim Jeffries. Jeffries. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to think of the Australian comedian. Um, you know, if I okay, before we go any further, because yeah. I've got to get this out, because I, I anytime I'm stupid, I want to call myself out on it. I I knew you were going to say Jim Jeffries, uh-huh. but when you said Jim, I said I, my head went Jim Gaffigan. Like, Jim no, Gaffigan, you fucking the idiot. famous Australian comedian Jim Gaffigan. Who talks no, about hot pockets. No, that's the famous Casper comedian. Yes. the dude's a fucking He's, ghost. He is white as oh man, he, and. He is the white they base white paint off of. Yes. Yeah. He is anyway, unbelievable. Jim Jeffries. Yeah, you, Jim you Jeffries. Make a point. Oh, great. I don't even know what it was other than he's fucking a, yeah, no, another he, one who's amazing to watch on those. Oh, yeah. He's fun. Like, I, I like watching him. Like, like the bit clubs. he does about vaccinating his son. No, fuck yeah. He found out, no, nah, I'm fucking autistic. <laughs> He's, we just got him done all at once. Oh man! Oh. Yeah, he's amazing and and un unapologetic. Oh, absolutely, and just, man! He, like especially, and I love that he'll go down to Texas and do fucking like the anti gun stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's just he's he's funny. He's gotten to a point where he just doesn't give no. a fuck, and I love that. I and love that. I love it when a comedian is like that. He's he's also even though he's got the Comedy Central special, yeah, um, that he's not lost his touch yet yeah which a lot of comedians do when they yeah. have the those fucking shows after a while yeah um, they get to a point where they get very stale and yeah uh, and, you know and uh, and it's their same their same comedy every week so their comedy is just is done it loses you its, don't it loses its shine it's luster exactly um and you know that was actually something that a friend and i were talking about earlier about uh kevin hart it's yeah. why I also I won't watch his show. Yeah. I'll watch clips of it every once in a while. But yeah, yeah. like a couple of weeks ago, Kevin Hart. We were mm-hmm. talking about Kevin Hart just not being funny anymore. No, he's because, over overexposed everything. Yeah, because he's gotten to a point where like you, you used to be laughing at my pain and mm-hmm. now it's like I don't have any pain left. I don't know what to, what jokes to make anymore. And that's that's kinda of what he's got. And for me it's also a bit of an oversaturation because everything you see him in, he's just He's, he's the same. He's just Kevin Hart. His 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 gimmick now is um, he's little. I'm super healthy. Yeah, and oh, I'm, I'm super tough. Yeah, like if you watch his, I've watched a few episodes of he had this show where he would do a workout with somebody. Oh yeah, yeah. famous. Yeah, um, and then he had a show where like usually a sports person, and even though I'm not into the sports and don't know half the time who the people are. Yeah, Kevin Hart's funny, so I'd watch um this show where they get in an ice bath. Yeah, and he just interviews them and has a good time. But the, the shtick for both of those has been he's. He's super way tougher than he is. Like right, he's right, right. he's playing into that like Napoleon complex kind of thing, mm-hmm. which he's always had a little bit of. But right. now that I mean, but he is amazingly healthy. I won't take any of that. He's like he's legitimately like works out all the right, time. Right, yeah, no, I mean, that's that's cool. Fucking great. Yeah. And but he's like oh like when they went and did sumo or something like that. Right. He is playing the role of like talking up like I'll be whipped the shit out of all y'all. Yeah. I mean, right. like uh, these sumo wrestlers who yes they are fat giant men. They're also insanely strong because that's all they do is lift weights and eat food. Right. I mean, that's the purpose. They get yeah. big to get big. Like, exactly. Yeah. And then push the other 600-pound guy <laughs> out of – it's like fucking two moose hitting each other. Right. Uh, Which I would like to actually see. Exactly. Somebody make that happen as a pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> pay-per-view of moose versus moose. Moose. Moose, moose v. Moose. Yeah. yeah. Mises versus Mises. I want to see – I want. I want some fucking like – Apocalypse happens, and then we start getting like na- uh, na- opening this week on pay per view, like one sumo wrestler versus like ninety um, uh, eight year olds. <laughs> Who wins? Or like a sumo wrestler Ow. versus like twenty uh, fucking badgers or you know, you, you, some crazy shit like that you're, you're basically wanting to bring the reddit question of life to life would you rather face one duck sized yes. horse or, or or no or one horse sized duck, duck or a hundred duck sized horses, horses. <laughs> it's like i i don't i don't want to face a hundred ducks so i'm, not gonna I'm gonna face... I'm, I'm gonna take the hundred duck sized horses i don't want to face any of them ducks are assholes but they're not ducks. They're duck-sized horses. I know that. But they're like the point of that's why I'm not fighting the big one because <laughs> ducks are assholes, and a horse is already horrifying. 
right. a duck, a horse-sized duck? I mean, I, I realize no. you're, you're, you're taking the horse down to the size of a duck, but then you're multiplying the duck. You're multiplying the horses by 100. Oh, is it 100? Yeah. 100's 100. excessive. Yeah. Like, I, at first I thought you said, I was thinking 20 for some no, reason. No, no, no. It's, it's would 20. You rather, would you 100. Want, do you want to fight neither one, one duck-sized yeah, you're right. horse either or fight's one horse-sized duck, rather? I don't know why I keep getting that backwards. Yeah. And or 100 duck-sized horses. Yeah, yeah, it's like, no, I don't want to fight either. Yeah. But uh, honestly, I think I'd probably take my chance with, with the horse-sized duck. Yeah. Because, you know, it's going to have that big throat. I feel like I can get a few punches in. and It's, gonna, it's got the long, shitty neck, right? All I got to do is collapse one of its windpipes. You know, <laughs> maybe, however, I know how hard horses bite. Yeah. And I know ducks bite pretty hard for their size. Right. So I've got to assume a duck bill... That is going to be, you're talking, it's the size of a horse. You're going to upscale the duck, so, meaning yeah, that I mean, bill's going to be maybe two feet long. No, it's not going to be two it feet might long. Be. The duck bill is, what, maybe an inch long? So you're looking yeah, at... Yeah, but compared to their body, it's way longer than a horse's mouth. Well, I mean, no, because a horse's mouth is right off the bat. Like yeah, but I mean, their back. house isn't as big as a duck's bill. Right, but I mean, like, they're not... Wow, we're yeah. having a debate. Over I'm gonna. This is the most interesting conversation it's I've like, had all goddamn week. But it's like, like I don't. Okay, know. even if it's not, even if I mean, it's you're only... looking at something this big. I mean, even if you're not scaling it up that much, you're, you're, what a horse is what maybe ten feet. So you're going horses to... are massive animals. I, I, I horses are that. horrifying. If I you've been around that. live horses, I have. Horses are horrifying creatures. If, I know that. If they get angry. Fuck that. Now right, you're no. taking a duck which is on two legs and, and waddles. And you know what? That's not intimidating a, a at duck, all. A duck is angry at this a lot, though. Yeah. So ducks like, are fucking angry all the time. Except because um, they rape. Yeah. <laughs> ducks rape. Ducks don't fucking like you when you're nearby. And they'll run away because ducks are little. But right. you're not talking about a little duck. Plus, I still go to goose, even though we're talking about a duck. And a horse-sized goose, fuck that. Fuck that. I no. mean, just a regular goose fuck is that. Yeah, I, I'll take it out, but I don't want to. But no, <laughs> I'm you're talking. I'm car. still saying that beak with how hard a horse. Yeah, you're can looking. Bite, I mean, you're still. I mean, you're still looking like a pretty even, sizable. Like you're going from, I would say, an inch to maybe five to six inches. So you're still looking at like a beak going from about this size to going about this size. But yeah. That's just the length. Now exactly. you're going from like an inch and a half the width, wide to like a foot wide. Yeah, so just, I'm, so I'm saying it's like, like it's going to be at coming this, at you. It's like coming at you with two frying pans yeah. that are going to be smacking together. With and I, teeth. I'm assuming the, yeah. they have like little they have like little grippy ridges, teeth. Ridges, yeah. yeah which yeah. again, plus sized might be able to tear into you. Maybe not. I'm gonna go with ignoring I'm, I'm the teeth. I'm gonna go with let's not take the risk. Yeah, ignoring the teeth. I'm terrified of the of the crushing power of that bill. Yeah. Like you get it gets your arm or something and it might just shatter. Yeah. The shatter your fucking arm. And not to mention, you know, the duck can fly. So what's, like, stopping it from oh, yeah. scooping you up in its mouth, flying, like, a thousand feet in the air and just dropping you? Yeah, I mean, I, if... Because I, I, I can see, like, a duck getting that big. Its brain is going to increase I don't think size. it's going to be able to lift. Maybe it will. Maybe not. I don't think it would be able to lift you. I wouldn't be afraid of that. It'd be maybe, like, get you and knock you down. Like, pick you up enough to, like, like throw you off balance. But I'm just saying that be... You know, around you. I would assume that if we're going to scale the duck up, physics are going to scale with it. Yeah. I, I so I would have a harder time killing duck-sized horses than like if I had a weapon, I would take out a duck uh, a, a, a a horse-sized duck. Right. Like you give me any uh, especially a gun. I'm a fucking the motherfucker's going down. I'll shoot it without a second thought. <laughs> I'll shoot it if fucking like look at what we've made. No, it's dying. I'll shoot that motherfucker. It's like Louis Even C.K. with a baby deer. <laughs> exactly. I will shoot a baby deer in the mouth. Yes, I will shoot that motherfucker. I don't care if it. it I, I, I hear it's the duck-sized horse today. Yeah, horses are huge, but they're like majestic. They're respectable. Ducks are not respectful. And you can ride them. Yeah. You, know you can ride them. They're like one of the most important animals in human history. Absolutely. But you They're, know what? Ducks are tasty. Ducks are tasty. But that's what I'm saying is I wouldn't – I would have a very hard time stomping on duck-sized horses. I would feel immensely – I would feel horrific. What if – what if those duck-sized horses had Nazi uniforms on? <laughs> <laughs> what if they were Nazis? What if they, what were, if they Nazis? were Nazis? Then, <laughs> then I mean, they're fucking Nazis. Smash them all day. Yeah. <laughs> right? You gotta, fuck a Nazi. Fuck, fuck, fuck fascism, right? <laughs> Every man in my unit owes me 50 scalps. <laughs> and I want my scalps. <laughs> oh, man. I, you know, we should probably wind it 50 down. 50 Nazi scalps. Oh, my God, man. I, I want to go watch that movie. Not the whole thing. I just watched the first half of that movie. 
Talking oh, about what, Full Metal Jacket? No, no, no. That's oh. um, uh, Inglorious Bastards. Oh, I've never seen that. Oh, man. there's I, I was let down by it mm. um, because I expected the whole movie to just be this fucking gore fest. And there was a story to it, but... That I'm just I was fucking in that kind of mindset where I just wanted a dumb action movie, but it is really it's honestly it's a good flick, right? Um, and uh, Brad Pitt is just amazing in that fucking role, like that scene where they have this Nazi general commander, this SS guy, yeah, and he's trying to get Amer- information out of him, right? And the dude's not giving him anything. He's like, okay, and he explains it to him. He's like, we're gonna kill you, but it's a matter of how you die. Right. And he's just like, okay, we'll call the call the bear Jew. And this fucking giant dude with a baseball bat comes out fucking straight like he's walking straight out of Brooklyn. And it's just, he beats the fuck out of this Nazi with a baseball bat. They've got this, not one of the people that they recruit yeah. is they go and they free a Nazi prisoner yeah. who is, was a Nazi who I, for some reason, decided that he hated the rest of the Nazis, his commanders, and fucking murdered his commanding officer with his bare hands. Oh, wow. And so they go and they're like, we want this guy. So they go and recruit him and he starts murdering Nazis with them. <laughs> Yes. He's murdering. It's not really murdering when you're killing Nazis. Nazis. So bad even <laughs> other Nazis killed him. Exactly. Like, yeah, come on, man. Oh, I was thinking about this sketch, that sketch, and I think it's... I think it's Kids in the Hall. Yeah. I know the the main character is from Kids in the Hall. I can't remember the actor's name. But it's where there are two Nazis at like a, a checkpoint and they're, you know, saluting everyone who comes by and stuff. And then he's, he looks over. He's like, Hans? Oh, yes. Are, are we, we the, the baddies? baddies? <laughs> yeah. And he, like, he starts pointing out we have skulls on But the I mean, we have skulls. <laughs> and we're hurting people. We hurt people. Are we the baddies? I love that. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good. You know what? Let's go cut it off there. Let's cut it off there. Skid Kids in the Hall is a great fucking sketch comedy. I don't even know if that's what it's from. Cut it off at uh, Killing Nazis. Yeah. Because it's, oh, it's always good to kill It's Nazis. an American tradition. <laughs> let's, let's make America great again and go scalp some Nazis. And I want my scalps. Like, that's a, <laughs> you know, I could go on about that, but we're going we're gonna to. Uh, he was it. found guilty. Let him fucking hang. Exactly. Fuck that guy, man. West Virginia, and Virginia has a. Uh, uh, no parole is a no parole state for um, when you're guilty of manslaughter. So, so the uh, guy no parole, that, that charged no in that, that drove that what was it a Dodge Charger or Dodge Challenger? I Whatever, don't remember. The guy he that drove, drove the car and smashed through a bunch yeah, of people and killed a bunch of people yeah. at, at the uh, what was it the Charlottesville uh, when the riots were going or not riot but no, the demonstrations the, an, the, the anti protest protest yeah where you had the the, the Charlottesville the, Charlottesville stuff. Oh God, the, you had the, the, the idiots with tiki torches. Okay. Yeah, that's, they had all that. But yeah, that guy. You guys know the he story. He was recently the guy who ran through that. that he killed of at least one. Girl. Oh yeah, he killed. He killed like two or three people. Yeah, I couldn't remember how many people. He killed, I knew. He, killed the, he killed some girl trying to save her boyfriend, mm-hmm. and then I think he killed the boyfriend or the boyfriend got remember. out with some major injuries. But, but a ton of people were injured. Yeah, no, and no, this no. piece of shit. Um, they was, tried to uh, use the defense of uh, he was frightened or some shit like that really and yeah oh they had eyewitnesses that people there that you know watched him beforehand and i mean they had video where he's in a street where there are people walking around nobody's near his car and he just guns it on top of that in uh social some social media account Mm -hmm. or one of the messages he sent right beforehand yeah was a picture of a car plowing through bicyclists if you've ever seen that gif yep and then he did it and they tried to defend now no, they're there's, fucking the, throwing the book at him, and that's, then that's indefensible at this point. And like, he's still got to go on trial for um, what he could get the death penalty for is uh, federal um, hate crime or whatever, right? Whatever that, that that is. But he's already been convicted guilty of manslaughter. Good, so. fuck him you in the first degree. Rot. Yep. All right. Well, so that's... he might get off early by being executed. Either way, I'm fine with it. Oh, yeah. All right. So there we go. We're ending <laughs> it on inmate. The <laughs> fuck Nazis. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that because, I mean, we've kind of swapped away from whatever we were doing before. It's, it's seriously just having conversation now and just yep. going off on it. So we uh, we hope you enjoyed that. So uh, If you guys have anything you want us to talk about, hit us up on uh, all of our social medias. Yeah, no. Tweet our me, Discord. Tweet me our... at uh, Ungodly Geeks, man. I, yeah. I pay attention to that shit. You know, I really do. You, you got some shit to say? You want us to talk about something dumb? We do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we make good background this. noise, so put us on in the background and do your chores around the house and then yeah. laugh at random dumb shit we say. So, you know, 
but like I said, we hope you enjoyed it. And mm-hmm. if you want to, if you like what we've done here and you want to kind of give us a hand, help us out, you know, you can always contribute to our patron. Give us a buck. Mm-hmm. Doesn't require, you know, not required. Uh, obviously, you can share the thing, share the podcast wherever you, you go, share it with your friends who you know like podcasts. And, uh, Rated on iTunes. Rated on iTunes. Yeah, we that that helps us. Although I think we're past the point where that actually matters now, but that's okay. You know, give us some ratings anyway. Tell yeah. us it sucks. It's fine. We can take it. You guys <laughs> are fucking skin. stupid. You guys are wrong. We need to stop cry. mispronouncing names. Cry for a few hours. <laughs> you know, call us crackers and hockeys. We can yeah. take it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you. Fuck yeah. Fuck Nazis.